Hello everyone, this is gonna be a quick tutorial how to create kits for the server. Um, there is a tutorial in Steam, steamcommunity.com. Uh, there is gonna be a link in the description, but <clears throat> this is gonna be just like a video out of it. So if you fancy video instead of just reading and doing all of this, so this is, this is for you. Uh, let's start by enabling fast download on your server, uh, which is in iOSocket cfg.autoexec uh, slash cfg. And you have to change it to, um, I, I, I sh yes, to this command. Normally you will have something like this and just change it to one, okay? Uh, it's in auto exec so I'm gonna show it it show this file uh, right here so there you go this is like your server IO soccer uh, CFG auto exec and And you can see that my file is actually actually I, I will do from this because FTP is gonna be for the different use. You're gonna show that in a minute. Uh, here I have soccer CFG auto exec and here as for custom assets one. Normally it's zero, but you will change it to one and save. Uh, my hosting, if someone would want, it's end of reality. It's not Simray, but it doesn't matter much. I, I just prefer it here because it has a German located server. Uh, okay, so unique folder names mm, here. When you go into this path, uh, it's uh, IELTS Soccer and then IELTS Soccer. IELTS Soccer materials, models, player, custom, and team kits. You will see a whole bunch of kits which are on your PC downloaded from from the servers so like let's say you, you see every single kit is with like v1 s5 or something like that it's very important to do that because if you would need another kit like you think oh maybe I'm gonna change that kit then you will have to instead of writing this you will have to do something like this. So, like, don't name it uh, the same because it will override uh, servers, but only on the on the PCs that didn't have this kit yet. So you will end up with the <laughs> same old kit. So it doesn't matter, right? Just name it differently. Example we do. Yeah, it's uh, explained here. Uh, texture formats, yeah, you're gonna see that. Uh, so files. When you go to the kit, for example, like uh, like mine, uh, there is a path for that. There is like a like a name. It's Steam Kit and Author or Author. I don't know. Uh, and just remember to name it differently. So V1, V2, V3, whatever. Or maybe if you are confident, you don't need to, but I recommend doing that. I, I've been doing that mistake for a lot of time, so probably you won't do it. Uh, okay, so kit data. Important, very important. So how to make kit data? It's the example from the kit data. So what I would recommend here, copy all of this and post it to the notepad and just edit everything. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly, quickly explain what, what is what. Uh, name, name is just the name of the kit. Uh, out, just your name, tags, no need for tags. So you can either 
you like as I did or just leave it empty whatever uh, primary color uh, it's like which color will be shown here right here you see uh, Japan has something like this this color probably in RGB it's like uh, red, red green blue so this shows for blue so it has like I don't know let's say 200 of blue and 50 of green so like it's 0 50 255 255 or something like that uh, to specify your color uh, I recommend oh, not this one RGB color picker from the Google and you will have a lot of colors to choose from just I don't know let's say this one and here you have 20 180 204 so in the kit data it would be 200 180 204 and remember at the end always 255 unless you want to not show it okay uh, so we're no, I didn't want this one okay so the secondary color is like a different color you, you will have to choose it on your own uh, coat so like here is stars the code will be shown here and also the name will be shown here so like you see that all right so short name it's gonna be like here long name here so stars superstars uh, here is club and is real you have an explanation here national team or club real team made up team so just it's up to you uh, has color either one or zero it's for the goalkeepers for example this goalkeeper doesn't have color you can see uh, this goalkeeper also doesn't have color but I don't know I was always mm, not doing the color so I would recommend doing the same unless you you just want want to have it so put it on one uh, fill color for it this is still oh okay uh, fill color so this is gonna be when I enter uh, you see this Yanir name right uh, the font is yellow you can see that so it just stands for this uh, fill color this is the color that you would want and this is the the alpha so always make it 255 unless you want to hide it I'm gonna show it in a minute outline color mm, normally put it to zero it doesn't look good but if you would want then it's your choice vertical and horizontal offset so if you would <laughs> I'm gonna do it a really bad way so don't kill me please <laughs> okay if you would want this name to be higher you would uh... wait where's this you would have to do the plus 10 or something like 30 or just something like that if you want to go down with this so I don't know somewhere like here so just put minus same with left and right probably you get it uh, for mine it's uh, 0 minus 20 minus 10 but it depends really on the font okay uh, oh and you can see outline color I deleted all of this because I just thought I didn't want it uh, probably you won't be able to see those kits if I remember yeah on your own local server you can do that but actually I have my own server but I have that
uh, so oh okay when you go here remember to <laughs> to just do the numbers okay so this is the kit probably yes this is the kit that that here is in the kit data you can see that the name is a little bit lower the the Yanir name and the number number is a little bit yeah it's also like also vertical offset it's only only the top so you just do that with everything it's up to you uh, keeper so like <laughs> you do the same for keeper it's nothing to to explain it's so like I also have base yeah I have the same settings for goalkeeper just remember the color because sometimes it's different for the goalkeeper and for the outfield you can see that here is black and here is white so it's, it's way different okay so once you're done with the kit data you edit that everything for your own preference then you're good to go you're one way of making your kit into the into the server so you have kit data you have two psd files that ted in the description uh, in his video uh, he's gonna describe how to make them and in the next video i'm gonna show you how to do the fonts but now how to export them uh, let's say you have to he here file import select all files because it's gonna be a psd file and let's say like for example home i was making before kids okay so here uh, this is an old template uh, this is gonna there is gonna be a new template but not on this side it's gonna be in the description so here you have the import settings probably advanced uh, it matches uh, um, it matches right if I remember So it's like seven two. Yeah, it's basically the same. So you only you only need to change anything. Oh, maybe except that compute reflectivity. So it's the only thing that you would need to change. I actually didn't even know this, but it doesn't matter. I think that much. So the, in advance you will have to do that, and in general, in general. There is gonna be a lot of changes and I'm gonna show it right now. So when you go to the kit, you will here have an image of how it should look like. So if you want to extract the kits, this is gonna be dxt1, dxt1. Animated texture, nearest power of two triangle, none. And here you have to change this to 2048. And here you click OK. Check, wait for your seconds, six or seven. And the kit would be there, waiting for you to export that to IOS Soccer. There you go. So this is the kit. You can see and uh, now as in tutorial oh as in tutorial you're gonna go to export and just export it as uh, TGA if I remember or save us now nah, save save us sorry so here's just 
file, save as, and go to that folder that you already created. So let's say name of the kids out for version. And if it's outfield, name it as outfield. If it's goalkeeper, name it as goalkeeper. As keeper, sorry. So for this example, it's outfield. So you did the same with uh, with the goalkeeper kits for this particular. So you just click OK. It's the same settings. It doesn't matter this time. The only thing that would be different, it's gonna be in a team crest. So in the logo. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, save us and go to the folder that you before created and keeper. So also there is a model viewer, but I'm not using it. If you'd want it's half-life model viewer. You can see how that works. It's way, way easier to just, you know, see the kit without exporting this to IS Soccer and then exporting the one to IS Soccer. But I don't know. I was like doing like three, three versions and it was good. So you will have to download BM font. Okay, so this is the BM font. Oh, this is for the custom fonts. I will actually explain it quickly here. Open bitmap font generator, then option load configuration. <coughs> oh, I forgot. When you are making kits, you need to <laughs> uh, you need to have uh, templates from the configuration files, which were, wait, what, where were they? Shoes, keeper, cloths, model viewer. Oh yeah, this is right here, right? Yeah, font settings, so right here. You have to download them and save them somewhere. For this example, I'm just gonna <laughs> go here. Why not? So those are the, the font files. Okay, so you will have access easily to them. And you will have two options, load configuration, and just select one of them. Let's go first with the name BMFC, so number back BMFC or number front BMFC. So let's go for example name. option font settings and here you just go for the font that you would want the kids with so i don't know which kit is good <laughs> let's go for center graphic because why not and then Uh, and play around with the height and down the thickness settings. Yeah, also you can you can have some fun doing here if you would need, but I I never 
never was doing anything with it. Uh, then options, visu visualize to just see how that would look like with the Latin, for example. But basically all of those letters you have here. And now save Bitcoin font as and remember to name it here. For the name fonts, shared back name atlas, shared back number atlas, shared and front number atlas. Oh, okay. Everything with is with this, this little dash. So we are doing the name, so it's gonna be shared back name atlas pnt save and it will probably generate two files and it did so once it generated this file uh, you have to change one of those to txt and this is this one rename that fnt to txt oh. no worries about this this warning press save and then remove the zero here Ta -da! so you have the fonts for the back name already prepared so you did the same with the shared back name it was so number number back and number front i was never using number front but i, I was doing it anyway. So here just load configuration, number front, font settings. You see that the size is different. Uh, font settings, it was an area, it was center graphic. But just uh, choose your, your font that you would want and save it as it's the front number, I remember, or back number. So it's gonna be sure, back name Atlas, paste it, save it and remove the zero and change this to txt so it's the same with the shoot back name sh oh okay i forgot shoot back name i it's number okay <laughs> okay so it was the same. Okay. So shared back number it is. Shared back number atlas pn fnt. Okay, and now to txt. And remove the zero. Same with another one, but remember to do the font settings. I'm not doing this because I don't need this. Because I won't have those files. 130, you can see that the font is changing every time. Uh, it was front number, so it's shirts. Yes, this one. So this, this, remove the zero and remove the place this way. So this is what you have ended up. The only thing, the only thing to do to make the folder full is to go to the file of not this VTF and import the Tinkrest. I need to see the Tinkers somewhere. It's it can be on a on a single file. PT Tinkers. Okay, there it is. So import the Tinkers PSD. Remember to do everything in the PSD. If I remember correctly, it's the the X the three the X the three whatever. I forget my pronunciation. I'm not from 
UK or I'm just from Poland, okay? Uh, <laughs> so the team crest here. Oh yeah, it also looks like it's a bit different here. So you see DXC3, uh, 3 not 5, nearest parts of 2, triangle, non. Okay, so I was correct. So the only thing that's different is this and this. So, okay. And remember about the flags. Clamp S, clamp T and 8-bit alpha, which is actually the default one, save us, desktop, here, and uh, team crest. Ta-da! Okay. And you've just finished the whole folder. So it looks like... It looks like this, so it's basically the same. Oh, and the kit data, remember. Let's pretend I, I've done, I've done that one. So you have, you will have something like this. If you didn't create custom fonts, because you don't need to, you can just, it's gonna be Arial. So you will have those, those four files. So now, if you want to get those kits for, I don't know, official service and you want to have them since you're an official team, you just pack them and send them somewhere. For example, here in IO Soccer community, we have something like this. You actually don't have to, to log in because you can just go to file uploads, uh, file upload, sorry. Oh, wait, what? Okay, so you have to log in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, it's because file upload is with a uh, big, ooh. okay. So here, just add file. Add an image for preview. So you just add an image, like just uh, just some image from the PSD or something. And select like the girl kits and upload. Okay. Uh, just add an image for preview because otherwise it won't upload as you could have seen So like here you have a lot of kits like Alex was making here Manchester United kits So this is his preview This is how how it shows But uh, you don't need to go here and download it extract is here you can just uh, go to Discord and just PM someone that, oh, I made kits, can you upload them to the official server? Some moderator or someone. I, I think they will help once you are finished with the kits. But you need to be finished with the kits first. But if you want to export those kits into your own, then what you need to do? FileZilla. This is the FTP. Uh, if you don't know FTP, I'm sorry, I won't explain it here, but just FTP in general is the access to the server files and you can download and do the, do everything with this. So here, for example, I connected to this and how to connect. So once you get FTP um, access, this is gonna be the server IP, I don't know. To, username, password and port. Normal is 23, but I don't know. You, you, you can see mine, but you won't be able to connect since you don't know the password, so don't even try. <laughs> okay, and how to export them? Here, go to iOS Soccer, remember the path before? My materials, models, player, custom, team kits, and remember to uh, here create player and custom folder. You, you won't have it. So 
here and just create it. Then in custom, you will have to create another, which is will be called same kits, and you will have nothing here, okay? And then here, right here, you will have to extract them, okay? So, once you've dragged uh, this file, like let's say this right here, and it actually uploaded here, then what you need to do, you need to go to the server and to the fast download sync. And you will, once it's finished, it's gonna be like this, the fast download sync has, has completed successfully. And it's done, ladies and gentlemen, your kids under the server. So, how to make uh, fonts, custom fonts, it's with this program. I'm gonna close it. How to connect to the server with FileZilla. But you can also use, uh, like for example, this one, File Manager, which I absolutely don't recommend, but you can do that from here as well. I don't know. So, yeah, this is pretty much it. If you have any more questions, just uh, ask them in this video in the comment section. And yeah, stay tuned because uh, Ted is going to do the team kit soon. I mean the template for the for the kits because I don't know anything about uh, creating good kits. I just know how to export them. So just remember to have everything here as it is. And yeah, have fun.